Hi friends, welcome. Today, let us talk about the concept of emotional intelligence. The term emotional intelligence was coined and introduced by Daniel Goldman. But I would like to remind you that 2000 years ago, Plato wrote, all learning has an emotional base. Let us talk about the concept of emotional intelligence in two terms. The first term is emotions and the second term is intelligence. The emotions are private experiences. Emotions are subject to feelings. It makes us feel in a particular way. It may be anger or joy. It may have personal meaning and personal significance. It varies in intensity and quality rooted in mental processes. Intelligence is the ability to occur and apply knowledge and skills. It is the ability of problem solving skills. So emotional intelligence is the ability to understand the emotional behavior of the self and others manage them properly and to be effective in making and maintaining the relationship. The emotional intelligence has four stages to be achieved, namely self-awareness, self-management, social awareness and relationship management. The first stage Self-awareness is the ability of self-assessment accurately, knowing strength and weakness of self-emotions. It is an attempt of a person finding answers to the questions like, why do I feel? And what does make you feel? The second stage is self-management, which includes trustworthiness, conscientiousness, adaptability, motivation, drive and initiative. It is being control of what you say and do. It is reducing the chance of compromising your values. Social awareness is the third stage which deals with empathy, organizational awareness, understanding the emotions, nonverbal cues of others, feelings, ability to treat others in a proper way, valuing the diversity and completes the demands of the environment. By completing the first three stages, we can enter into the fourth stage, that is relationship management. This includes the leadership ability, developing and influencing others, building bond with others, teamwork and collaborating skills, skill of effective communication, creative motivation and inspiring others. So my dear student teachers, educating the heart is as important as educating the mind. So let us try to be an emotional intelligent teacher. Thank you.